Gottfried Keller's Romeo und Julia auf dem Dorf or Romeo and Juliet in the Village, in English, is a poignant novella that explores themes of social class, tradition, and the struggle for individual freedom. Set in a rural Swiss village, the story follows the tragic fate of two young lovers, Solly and Vrenchen, whose romance is thwarted by the rigid societal norms and economic disparities of their community. Central to the narrative is the juxtaposition of the two families, the wealthy, landowning family of the well-to-do Marty, and the impoverished, tenant-farming family of the poverty-stricken mans. This dichotomy underscores the larger theme of social stratification and the constraints it imposes on personal agency. Sally and Vrenchen's love defies these boundaries, challenging the established order and exposing the inherent injustices within the village's hierarchical structure. Keller's use of imagery and symbolism further enriches the narrative, particularly through the recurring motif of the village itself as a microcosm of society. The physical landscape, with its fields, forests, and winding paths, reflects the complexities of human relationships and the entanglements of fate. Additionally, the names of the characters, Sally and Vrenchen, evoke the archetypal lovers Romeo and Juliet, inviting comparison to Shakespeare's timeless tragedy and reinforcing the universality of their plight. The novella's structure is also noteworthy as Keller employs a third-person omniscient narrator who provides insight into the thoughts and feelings of multiple characters. This narrative technique allows for a multifaceted exploration of the story's themes and encourages readers to empathize with the perspectives of both the Marty and Mann's families. Through this nuanced portrayal, Keller invites reflection on the complexities of human nature and the moral ambiguities inherent in interpersonal conflict. At its core, Romeo and Juliet in the Village is a meditation on the tension between individual desires and societal expectations. Sally and Vrenchen's love represents a rebellion against the dictates of tradition and convention, as they defy their family's wishes in pursuit of happiness. However, their struggle for autonomy is ultimately futile, as they are unable to escape the constraints of their circumstances. The tragic conclusion serves as a sobering reminder of the consequences of societal oppression and the human cost of conformity. Moreover, Keller's exploration of the theme of sacrifice adds depth to the narrative, as both families are forced to make difficult choices in the name of honor and duty. Sully's decision to relinquish his claim to Vrenchen in order to preserve his family's reputation reflects the profound influence of social pressure and underscores the tragedy of their situation. Similarly, Vrenchen's sacrifice of her own happiness for the sake of her father's pride highlights the complexities of filial piety and the burdens it imposes on individuals. In conclusion, Romeo and Juliet in the Village is a masterful work of literature that delves into the intricacies of human relationships and the struggle for self-determination. Through its richly drawn characters, vivid imagery, and nuanced exploration of themes, Keller crafts a timeless tale that resonates with readers across cultures and generations. In portraying the tragic fate of Saline Vrenchen, he offers a powerful commentary on the enduring conflict between personal desire and social constraint, inviting reflection on the nature of love, honor, and sacrifice.